He started the game 19 and 5. Just to give you guys a perspective, that's almost four kills. All right, so what you guys are about to see is the cringiest thing that I've ever done in my entire life. If you don't drop a like on the video right now, you're going to be stuttering the rest of your life like phase adapt. I'm just warning you. I'm just putting it out there. Drop a like and uh, yeah, let's just play this. To four to kill, four kill, four kill death ratio for Scump on infection. So he's been playing out of his mind. Four to kill, four kill, four kill, four to kill, four kill. Four kill. Oh, oh my god, man. You're a dumbass. Yeah. I can explain, okay? Just give me a moment to explain it. Now, before I explain everything, I just want to let you guys know that this video is actually sponsored by Audible. And if you guys don't know what Audible is, it's basically the easiest way of reading a book. Like, you can literally just listen to it through your earbuds or whatever you want. I think the coolest part about it is that it's not just limited to books. You can also learn a language through it. Like, I could literally use Audible to learn Spanish so I could speak to my girlfriend or vice versa. She can use it to learn English and speak to me in English. And that's what she's trying to do now. They're not limited just to books or even languages. They also have original audio shows, news, and comedy, too. So if you guys are interested in this you guys can start a 30-day free trial and get your first audiobook for free if you guys go to audible.com slash censor that's audible.com slash censor to get a 30-day free trial and your first audiobook for free you guys honestly i just really wanted to make fun of myself in this video and just like try to be funny but i'd rather just tell you guys a personal story about myself so i hope you guys can enjoy this so if there's something wrong with you if you have a problem with yourself like if you have a big nose if you have sweaty armpits or something like that you're trying to point it out yourself so that other people can't say something about it so that's what i wanted to do that's the message i wanted to get across in this video but that stutter growing up as a kid i had this horrible stu i had this horrible stutter it wasn't easy for me growing up stuttering i st i always had this bad stuttering pro I'm just joking. I, I always had this bad stuttering problem as a kid growing up, and it was horrible. Like, I, I don't really like to talk about it too much, but maybe I mentioned it once or twice in the past. But seriously, like, it was horrible for me growing up. Honestly, I blame it on Call of Duty. I blame it on the fact that I've been playing this game for, like, my entire life, and I just didn't know how to talk to people other than about Call of Duty. Before I got into Call of Duty, I used to play sports. I used to do really good in school. I had some friends. Everything was great. And then the second I started playing the game, no joke, I just literally stopped talking to everybody and my friends and family, everyone. And during this time, I was between maybe 12 and 16, and like those were the worst years of my life, especially going into lunch every single day. That 40 minute time of when you had to socialize with people was just the absolute worst, and I hated it because I didn't know what to talk to people about. And I'm sure there's other people watching this video right now that were just like me, and seriously, I wanna help you guys. Like. I know what it's like going into school every single day and hating it, not because of how hard it is or, or like studying for a test or something, more so because like you didn't know how to talk to people, you didn't know what to do, like, and I seriously have advice for you guys. I'm not gonna say anything cliche like, oh, just be yourself and everything's gonna happen naturally. Like everyone's heard that before, but seriously, like one thing I regret doing when I look back at it is the fact that I wasn't confident in myself and what I was doing. Like I used to play Call of Duty all the time as a kid and I didn't want anybody at all knowing about it. I thought people would think I was a loser if I told people about it and that's the reason why I think I didn't want to talk to anyone when I was in school. I just remember every day going into lunch and trying to talk about like football or a girl or a teacher and I didn't know what to say to anybody about anything and I didn't want to tell people I played Call of Duty. But I actually struggled like I really had a hard time making friends and it was the worst thing. I thought it was never going to end. I thought it was going to be like that for the rest of my life and I thought the fact that I couldn't make friends was going to determine my success in life and like I wouldn't have any success in any Anything that I did and I was freaking out. I didn't know what was going on in my life and everything was horrible. It's not the end. Life's gonna move on. It's gonna happen, okay? You're gonna have bad times in your life because you have to have bad times to have good times. You know what I'm saying? But the one thing that I do regret is that I didn't tell anybody about it. I remember I had ISS one time and I remember I told my teacher for the first time, my math teacher, Miss Stewart. I said, hey, I won this tournament for $50,000. She's like, that's incredible. You should say it over the loudspeaker in the morning so everybody in the school could hear. I was like, no, no, I should not. Nobody is supposed to know about this. You're lucky that I'm telling you. Now, before I made any money, I was even worse. I didn't want to tell anybody because I thought that if I spent so much time doing it and I wasn't getting anywhere with it, that people would think that I was like a horrible human being. You know what? If you like something in life, I guarantee you there's somebody else out there who likes it the same, if not more, as you. This could be anything. Like, it could be a foot fetish. And I don't have a foot fetish or anything but people out there have foot fetishes i think it's weird but if you're into that stuff you're into that stuff there's other people who are into that stuff too there's even more things i don't even want to say like extreme stuff i'll give you guys like a pg example like a yarning class if you're into yarning and like doing sewing and stuff i'm guarantee you there's another person who's into arts and craft that's the same age just like you out there but seriously if you guys like something and you're into it and you have a passion for it then 
use that to connect to people. Like that was the thing that I wish I could go back in my life and change. I wish I could tell people that I love Call of Duty so much because I, I bet everybody in my school was playing Call of Duty at the time. And maybe who knows? I would have been the most popular kid and like got all the girls or something. I don't know. Who knows? I want to end the video on that note. And I hope you guys can really take something from this. And I hope you guys can learn from my experiences. Like that's what I would do looking back at it. Who knows? And like I said, if you don't like this video, you're going to end up like face of death. Like you can literally get a stutter at every single word. Like you don't want that. Like the video. Just save yourself the hassle. It takes two seconds of your time. Just like the video. Seriously though, guys. Thank you guys. Seriously though, guys. You guys are on. Seriously though, guys. You are the best. Thank you guys so much for everything. I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm going to be in Vegas. I'm going to be doing collabs with like Bradley Martin, Steve Cook, Rice Gum, all these big fitness guys. Nate Shot. Like I'm doing a lot of cool stuff. Nate Shot's not a big fitness guy, but I'm doing a lot of cool stuff with some people. Be excited for that. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below what you guys think. And as always, it's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin. And I'm out, guys. Peace.